this next superstition has to be one of my favorites and I have some personal experience with this specific one kind of um, <laughs> jokingly of course but um, the superstition is saying the word Macbeth in a theater will result in extreme bad luck um, or any variant like level of bad luck um, People, theater folk, tend to avoid using, um, people to, in theater tend to avoid referring to Macbeth as, and saying, and referring to it as the Scottish play, the Bard's play, or, um, what was another one? Um, the Cursed play, or something to that effect. If the name Macbeth is spoken in a theater, there is a cleansing ritual that um, the person or group can do to reverse the mistake. Um, the ritual that um, I'm personally familiar with is the person needs to go out, is required to leave the theater building, spit, spin around, um, to the right three times, um, spit again and curse. Um, there's a few variations. You, you either need to spit, curse, spin around three times to the right, or spin around to the right three times, curse and then spit, or spit, spin and then curse but I think as long as you get those three things done you're good once you get those three things done you're fine to go back and um, you're fine to go back in the building and stuff and things other variants include reciting a line from another Shakespearean work um, brushing oneself off running around the theater counterclockwise or repeating the name three times while tapping on their left shoulder. Um, there are s there are a few possible origins for this superstition. One option, one um, is to believe in witchcraft, or according to one superstition, Shakespeare himself got the words in the um the one scene with the witches um shakespeare himself got the words from a coven of real witches who after seeing the play were not impressed by the betrayal um another says the props master from the original production stole a cauldron from said coven and the witches again were not impressed the, and the best witchcraft explanation is that Shakespeare, Shakespeare put a curse on the play so that no one other than him would be able to direct it correctly. Um, another origin is that there is more sword play in it than most other Shakespearean productions, and therefore um, there are more chances for people to get injured and hurt. But, um, the, the option that I think is most likely is due to the play's popularity, and, um, it was often run by theaters that were in debt, and, and they, um, they used this production as a last attempt to increase their patronage. Um, and unfortunately most theaters normally went bankrupt soon afterwards. Um, and I believe that this, the superstition is even parodied in an episode of The Simpsons. Uh, while visiting Lum the, the he. while visiting London, the Simpsons family came across Sir Ian McKellen outside a theater showing Macbeth. And, um, every time Macbeth is said, something would happen to McKellen. So, um... Yeah, that's, like, my number one favorite superstition. Um, 
my experience with this is, um, you're not supposed to say, um, Macbeth in a theater, period, regardless of what production you're doing. Um, I was doing Oliver back in 2005, and, um, at the Play Sarasota Players Theater, and I, um, we had, backstage we had, eh, in the green room backstage, we had gotten into a discussion about different superstitions, and I was discussing this production without trying to refer to the name of the production. Um, and, like, nobody was understanding what I was saying, so I had to say Macbeth, and I didn't go outside to counteract this curse, or superstition, and, um, I didn't have anything major happen, but, um, I had some, let's just say I had some bad luck afterwards, um, so yeah, anyway, that's kind of, yeah, anyway, um, don't forget to com comment, thumbs up, and subscribe, and if you would don't forget to tell me your favorite superstition, ghost story, or urban legend, and I might talk about it in the future. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.